Hey everybody, what is up? Fourth Seraph here, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about Infinite Warfare. It was announced recently that Infinite Warfare would have more guns than any Call of Duty ever, and I believe one of the developers even said that there would be literally hundreds of guns. Now, what this probably means and what most people are thinking is that they are bringing back the gun variant system from Advanced Warfare, but even more than Advanced Warfare had. Now, a lot of people didn't like that system because you couldn't always have the best guns. Some guns were better than other ones, and if you didn't get lucky, you wouldn't have the best ones. Now, I personally played for months, months before I got the BAL-27 Obsidian Steed, uh, which was one of the best guns in the game, arguably the best one. I got, however, the AK Rip, one of the other best guns in the game, in one of my first supply drops, and so I had that very early on, which gave me an advantage, but then also a better gun much, much later in the game, and I know some people would go a very long time before they ever got any of the good variants, and so overall, this was a system that was not really liked by a lot of people, so the question becomes, why are they bringing this back? What are they thinking? Uh, the, there was a lot of outcry against a lot of the different stuff that Advanced Warfare did, and I get that they were already partially in development, so that's why there's things like the Exo Boost system. Now, it has been changed to be more like Black Ops 3 and not like Advanced Warfare in order to be as good as possible, but it is still doing some of these things going into the future, doing some of that stuff that now has become pretty unpopular, but back then, when they were first working on it, seemed like the direction to go in. But this seems like something that would be, well, they could just take it out. They could just make all the basic guns. They could do the normal system like Black Ops 3 did. There's no gun variants. There's just attachments. There's just stuff like that. Why aren't they just doing that becomes the question, and I don't know. I don't know why they're doing this. Maybe they just think it'll be more content into the game, but the reality is that we're getting it. So what I want to do is give you an idea or... Maybe if we can share this video a lot, give them an idea of how to make this system well, and it all breaks down to how they do the black market or supply drops or whatever they're going to call it in Infinite Warfare, but uh, they need to make it so that people actually have access to the stuff. It needs to be equal access. Now, that doesn't mean that they need to just give all the guns to everyone, that they can't charge for supply drops, they can't make all the extra money. I would love to know how much money they actually, like, from Active and how much money do they actually make from people buying supply drops and things like that, because I'm sure it's a ton and they don't want to miss out on that money. And I think that there is a very, very simple solution to this problem, and that is to just make a player trading or player selling system similar to what CSGO has. They don't necessarily have to make supply drops or anything like that any cheaper, but people can buy them maybe in bulk, they can get a ton of weapons, and then if people get a repeat weapon or a weapon that they don't want, they can simply trade that or they can sell that to another person. People could even do wager matches with guns of equal value and the winner takes the gun and things like that. This makes a system where not only can people have more access to the guns, I can say if I want just one certain gun or I've opened a bunch of supply drops from just playing the game and haven't gotten it, I can just go and spend maybe one or two dollars and just buy that gun. Because if there's just one or two that people want specifically, it doesn't seem like a lot of money to pay an extra one or two dollars. Although we're already paying for a $60 game when it's small increments of money, it doesn't really feel bad. Anyone has a dollar or two that they can just spare. And so just, you know, a couple months after the game, oh, I really want this weapon, I'll spend a dollar or two, and I get the gun, and everyone is happy. Not only have I gotten the gun that I want, but someone else has made a little bit of money to help pay for the money that they spent opening supply drops and doing things like that, so everyone is happy. People will probably buy supply drops more if you can buy them in bulk. Think if you could spend, you know, $50 and get a ton of supply drops, get a couple duplicate weapons and then sell, you know, maybe five or ten different weapons that you got, make back half of the money that you, you know, that you spent on supply drops, and then also have a ton of new weapons and things like that. By just upping the amount that people get 
variants, which I'm sure it will be. It won't be like getting a weapon in Black Ops 3 if there's hundreds instead of like 15. Um, but having hundreds of weapons, they'll be much more prolific like they were in Advanced Warfare, but probably even exponentially more. And then having a player versus player system where you can sell or trade or bet, that will incentivize people to actively be part of the supply drop system, the black market system, and things like that in Advanced Warfare. Plus, you know, there's always like, oh, I don't care that much about the melee weapons. I know some people really like the melee weapons in Black Ops 3. They want all the different ones. They want the Fury song, all the cool stuff. I don't really care. I don't really like using the melee weapons that much. I'm just not a huge fan. I have actually quite a few of them. But honestly, if I could trade those, if I could sell those, if I could do something where I could either trade like all of my melee weapons, even to just get one of the new guns, I would totally do that because I would use a lot of the new guns all the time, but I'm really not going to use a melee weapon that much unless I'm maybe doing a video where I talk about it. And so by making a system like that, people who want certain stuff or don't want certain stuff or want everything or want nothing can really be rewarded for that. Now, in addition to that, if they made a system where they continue on COD points and you can transfer those from game to game. So think if at the end of Black Ops 3, some people are probably never going to go back and play it. So being able to sell things either to other people or even just back to Treyarch or Activision or whatever, just burn those up for COD points that you can then take into the next game, that would also incentivize people to continue to do that. And then from Infinite Warfare into whatever Advanced Warfare 2 or whatever Sledgehammer is going to do and then into whatever game Treyarch is going to do next and it just keeps rolling over and at the end of each game you can just kind of keep compiling those COD points and use those to get new content. That would really, I think, help people. It would make it more of a stable market instead of something that changes every single year because that's why people are willing to pay money in CSGO because it's not going anywhere because it's a consistent thing and that would add the consistency to the Call of Duty market and make things actually have monetary value. I think if we did that, then the weapon variant system wouldn't necessarily be bad. As long as people can semi-reasonably get all of these different weapons, then I think it's fair. The problem is that in Advanced Warfare ended up being kind of imbalanced because some people would really never get a good weapon and they would end up having to buy stuff and that should not happen. We want a balanced Call of Duty and that's the problem with Black Ops 3 recently is that it hasn't been balance at all. All the new weapon system is thrown balance out the window. The new special is thrown balance out the window. And so hopefully Infinite Warfare can look at this and can say, how can we do this system but make it balance? Because I thought the weapon variants, that idea is kind of cool. Having different guns, different camos, different looks, all that stuff. It was pretty exciting and you wanted to try and get that, but just making it a way where you can actually get the stuff where it can actually still be fair, I think is key. So hopefully they do something like that. Now, obviously, I don't have the poll like Drifter or T-Martin or Allier or any of those guys to actually suggest this to Infinity Ward or Activision or whatever, so hopefully I'm not just getting everyone's hopes up uh, for what it could be like. Who knows? It could be terrible, guys. Who knows what Activision is even thinking? They're only thinking about money, so it could just be absolutely terrible, um, but let's hope for the best, right? Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you leave a thumbs up and share it with some of your friends? I know that I've been asking you guys to share videos a lot more recently, but actually every time someone shares a video on like Facebook, it's probably worth about 10 to $15 worth if I paid for YouTube advertising just to show you how actual monetarily beneficial it is. And so I can't really afford to pay YouTube advertising. And so that's why I don't. But if you guys share, that really, really does help the channel out a ton. You know, it really spreads the reach a lot wider. So if you enjoy it, I really, really appreciate it if you do share the video because it does actually do a lot for the channel. Anyways, guys, until the next video, I will see you online.